name is Ivana Estrada. I am an English teacher and welcome to my science class. For today's class, we're going to, well, the big question of the day is how does technology affect our lives? Good morning, class. So the big question for today is how does technology affect our lives? Have you ever think how many time do you spend using technology? And what is technology? Well, today you will learn what is technology and how people use it. You will learn um, so many tools that are used in our houses, in hospitals, in everywhere. Uh, you will learn about prosthetic limbs, what they are and how they mimic a skeletal and muscular system. You will learn how they can mimic all um, the limbs that are missing from a person and you will also learn how scientists and engineers use the design process to plan, make, test, and evaluate new products. With, the, with all this information, you will understand how does technology affect our lives. Lesson one, what is technology? Lesson two, how does technology mimic living things? And lesson three, what is the design process? Lesson one, what is technology? Technology is the knowledge, processes, and products that solve any problem and make life easier. For example, um, people, the way people keep and store food has been improved by technology. When we use refrigerators, when we use refrigerators and freezers, and they help us to keep and store food for a longer period of time. And thermostats and boilers can maintain or change the temperature, so they can change, uh, you can cool or heat the room. Mm, then we can use technology for uh, entertainment purposes too. When you are using the television, when you are using the computers, your cell phone, an MP3 player, you are using technology. Technology helps solve and solve problems and find solutions to scientists. For example, in laboratories, when they are trying to discover new, pro new products or new medicines, um, doctors in hospitals, when they try to check you with a lot of machines that can uh, allow him to, to prevent illness, and engineers, when they are using the design process to make new discoveries or new products. Technology helps engineers detecting metals in extreme ground condition, and for this, I have an, an experiment for you. Okay, this is a tiny robot, but engineers use a bigger machines in airports, for example, to detect weapons or explosives. But in this case, I have this toy that will show you how to take a metal. This is a coin. And look. Now it's detecting the metal. Engineers use this in airports to detect weapons, explosives, or even knives that can put in danger our lives. People constantly gain knowledge and make new discoveries all the time, even kids as you. Lesson two, how does technology mimic living things? Sometimes people need extra help when they, are, um, when they are missing a prostatic limb. A prostatic limb is an artificial arm, leg, and foot that replaces a new one. And a prosthetic limb will help people to walk, even run, pick up things, and much more. The tools in medicines. Remember when you go to the hospital and you, and you can see all that those machines in there, so cold and you feel fear? Okay, don't worry, we have an x-ray. An x-ray will allow the doctor to help you if you have a broken bone or something, and it is a way with very high energy. Allow doctors and scientists to see things inside your body. They can see your bones, your lungs, your skull, even your brain, but it has radiation, so you must be careful. The CT scanner 
is a magnetic resonance that produces images of the body. The procedure uses magnetic files and radio waves pulses. A scanning formation is fed into a computer and it, has, and it doesn't have radiation. Tomography machine analyzes internal organs and such as the brain with clear pictures. The technology makes tasks easier, faster, and more efficient. Remember when you want to go somewhere very far away, what do you use? You use a car, yes. You can use a car, you can use a train, you can take the bus, you can use an airplane, maybe. But remember, an airplane has parts that mimic the wings and tails of birds, like in the picture. Can you see the, the wings and the tails? They look like a bird, right? A human bird is like a drone. They can stay flying for a long periods of time and you can use the drone for take pictures, um, some videos, or just for entertainment. Even if you want to go out of space, you can use the, the spaceship and you can use some satellites to communicate. When you want to make a phone call or to send a message, you use technology. Scientists hope that technology go further. Yes, making nanobots. Imagine that you can cure cancer. Nanotechnology are tiny robots or nanobots that can perform all kinds of tasks. And, and they can be able to deliver medications sparing at current methods. And not, not only for pills. Imagine a tiny robot that you can um, take inside your body and then you can feel better in, or faster. Imagine that this is an artery. This artery has cholesterol and nanobots will help to take out this cholesterol from the walls, from the vein. Just like in the picture, scientists are also researching how to make nanobots that can remove cholesterol from the walls of arteries. Nanobots might be used to remove cancer or other diseases. Remember, technology helps solve problems and make solutions. Lesson three, what is the design process? Everything around you has been um, made for someone, just like you or like me. The design process is the step, um, the, the steps the set of steps of developing products and processes that solve problems. You need to find a problem, to find a solution, to have a lot of imagination, you need to have the brainstorm, and then design your prototype. The step number one is to identify the problem. Okay, I want to communicate with my friend. What can I use to talk with her or with my brother that is in Germany? Okay, then you have to do some research. And for that, you, you can use Google, you can use some encyclopedias, books, or even talk with people. Number three, choose one solution. Even if you have a lot of options, you have to use only one. The step number one is to write and draw your prototype. Then, if something goes right, you can communicate ideas, like the spaceship. But then you have to evaluate and redesign if something happens. Well, to answer the question, how does technology affect our lives? Well, in so many matters. You can take advantage of technology or the technology can, can be against you. So, it's your option. We have so many options to search in, on internet. We have the smart TVs, we have cell phones, even Alexa can help us in home. Uh, even the toothbrush that we use to clean our teeth are technology and cell phones. So how many, have you ever think how many time do you spend using technology? Are you using okay? Or are you spending all your time just using in video games? Okay, you can learn a lot of languages and I, I hope that you can learn English with this class and see you the next time.